Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lechin and Friedrich Kochlein. This game was played in Düsseldorf, Germany, in 1908. Alexander Lechin had white pieces and he started with d4. Friedrich Kochlein played d5, knight to f3, e6, and now e3, call opening. Knight to f6, bishop to d3, knight from b to d7, knight from b to d2, bishop to d6. Is this copycatting or what? White to move. If white castles kingside, black can castle kingside too. Alehin played e4. And Cochrane stopped copycatting. He captured the pawn on e4. What would happen if black continued with copycatting? Let's have a look. One interesting line goes like this. e5. Then d takes on e5, d takes on e4, e takes on f6, e takes on f3, f takes on g7, f takes on g2, pawn takes rook, check, pawn takes rook, illegal move. That is why it was wise to stop copycatting. d takes on e4, Knight takes on e4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, Cochlin castled kingside, bishop to g5 attacking the queen, queen to e8, and Alehin castled kingside too. f5 attacking the bishop, bishop to d3, black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? Maybe h6, knight to f6. Cochlin played e5, threatening e4, but this move has an obvious downside. Can you see the downside? The downside is that is on the e-file and the rook is coming to e-file sooner or later. d takes on e5, knight takes on e5, rook to e1, queen to h5, knight takes on e5, queen takes bishop. Friedrich was happy to have material equality, but he missed something. Why to move? What is the best move for white in this position? Can you find the best move for white? The best move is bishop to c4 check, king to h8. White move. And now comes the killer move. Can you see the killer move? Please pause the video and find the killer move that Alehin played. What did you find? Alehin captured the bishop on the sixth queen. Friedrich Kochlin was in shock. You know, when people are in shock, they don't have a good supply of oxygen to their brain. So, Friedrich captured the pawn on g2, and after king takes queen, he resigned. He didn't want to play the obvious move. Pawn takes queen. Can you see why? Then, Knight to f7 check. King to g8. This is one line. Knight takes on g5, discover check. King to h8, knight to f7 check. King to g8, knight takes on d6. King to h8, knight to f7 check. King to g8, rook to e7. White is a piece and the pawn up in a winning position. And what else? If after c takes on d4 and check, black rook takes the knight, then rook to e8 check, rook to f8, rook takes rook, check. 
mate. Hmm? And let's go back to this most interesting moment of the game. This is the position. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.